So hello everyone. Maybe again, if you stayed here last two hours when we had previous talk. So this time I got suggested by one of your colleagues that I should mention something that is not really regards technology, but it is very close to academia. So let me start with questioning how many of you here are students? We have few. So how many of you are cooperating with students? having some diploma thesis and so on. And how many of you want to have the best students? <laughs> or to be the best students? Well, most of you. So maybe some of those things we are trying to <clears throat> evolve at our university. And what we recently did is we have looked if there exist some uh, social organizations of the best talented students. If you study in the US, very often you will find out that there are sororities, fraternities, but these are different things. These are uh, parties to have fun. But there also exist organizations <coughs> that are officially, uh, let's say, focused on business, on some special art. And there also exists one, and there is really one that is well recognized, that is for Inter uh, for IT disciplines, for computer science, and the related, related science. So this organization is called Ypsilon Pi Epsilon, and I will tell you a little bit about it <coughs> in this lightning talk. <coughs> so if we will look for the organizations, we will certainly look uh, what options we are, and this is the first one that is uh, the result of Google or whatever other other search engine. So the motivation for the UPE. So if you will look at their website, you'll find out that it's an older organization, although they say that computer science is a very young discipline. If you compare it to math, certainly we must agree with them. And they want to recognize the best students at the university. And they want to say, you were the top student in your class. And they want to mark those students and, let's say, build a social network. So something like this works very well in the US because uh, students like that can cooperate. Later they find themselves in a job and when they go for an interview, <clears throat> they say, hey, I see in your CV that you are a student who were actually awarded to become a member of UPE. So most likely when we will take you to our company, we know that you were one of the best students in the class. And <clears throat> this is also part of the purpose for the UPE. And when we looked at this organization, we were thinking, well, maybe we could do something like that uh, in the Czech Republic. Of course, you can do that anywhere else. And we certainly support you in that. And you will find, further find out that also uh, scientific conferences and organizations organized by IEEE and ACM support this organization, which you don't find very often for the other uh, <coughs> special organizations for the student support. It is also recognized by some American Association for Colleges and Honor Societies. So this gives you, like, let's say, some state that it's really not something that someone made up. If you look at uh, how many of those chapters exist, there is more than 260 all around the world. I think 266. Well, some of them are not active in the U.S. Most of them are. But I think it's more like a cultural thing, that they have campuses. We don't have that big campuses where you actually have dormitories and uh, lecture rooms at the one place. And certainly not us in Prague. I don't know in Brno, but I think that uh, the university is also kind of distributed throughout the city. Well, as a Pragian, I could say Brno is that small that it could be considered as a campus. But I don't want to have any fight here. <clears throat> so, so what is chapter? Uh, chapter, it's like a section of... Uh, this UP organization within a given university. So we have, let's say, I don't want to say local rules, but we have local activities that we do. So from the international uh, chapters, there is not that many. Uh, we did one in the last year, as I will show you later, but maybe to recognize uh, who are the members. So some of those you might have heard of, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, or maybe I know you all love Java, but C++ was a really good programming language as well. Bjarne Sostrup, also the father of C++. Or if you do programming competitions, then Bill Poucher is also a member of UPE. And we would probably find others, but you know, once the students leave the university, not always they keep up with you to tell you all the records. So how we started last year at the Czech Technical University? Well, if you want to do something, you need a sponsor. 
because it's not for free and we got a great sponsor, we got Avast Foundation who actually sponsored us. And a lot of companies have funding uh, for, for activities like that. So what did we do? Well, certainly we picked the best students from the program and we have multiple programs. So sometimes you end up with student that is not 1-0. Well, in, in US it will be 4.0, but we have it kind of reversed. But you end up with students that is a little less uh, averaged Although he's the top student in his major, he's the top student in his program, because some programs end up harder, some programs end up easier. So we select one of one or two top students from uh, the given discipline, and we invite them to J join the membership. What do we do with students? Well, the activities are really uh, not really. Uh, restricted for us what to do, so we, have, we are kind of free on what we want to do, but so far we got some invited talks, we invite speakers and they have, uh, we provide them lecture room and the students come and they have various questions, uh, most of the time uh, we have some special topic, uh, recently we had, let's say, experiences from one of the students about her internship in Google, she was very excited about it. At the same time, we got some students studying abroad, and then we got invited someone from Avast, and they do also free stuff. They, do, they don't do f open source, but they're free. <coughs> what else we did? We did some excursions to companies, and this was very interesting. Uh, so far, we had the first experience with our, our supporter, and it is a great experience not only for the students, but also for the workers of the company. You know, they work one year, all continuously, it's a stereotyped work, and then suddenly someone tells them, well, you know, you should, you should do some presentation of what you do to the students. And you know what? The students will give you feedback. So we actually find out some things that could be better optimized in Avast, mostly when streaming some updates, and do, they stream updates every four hours. A lot of updates because they have 300 million users. Uh, then we provide social networking for the students, not only among the university. Although I have noticed that when I actually appointed those students, they met each other, they started to hang out together. They started to uh, think together. Maybe later they will have some startup together. I don't know. So far, we were successful. We sent two students together to study abroad in the U.S. So they got to the graduate program. And we are preparing, I just got email from my colleague, we are preparing two doctoral interns to study one year abroad at the U.S. University. And why the university is interested in those students? Well, these are the top students. We don't like to give the best students to our university, but we want to borrow them, right? We just give them for one year and we take them back. And the university will certainly give them some good overview. And if they act, uh, suggest that they send us some students and they say they are UPE, we know that they are sending us the best students. The same thing we can, you can see when you do interview with them. So when we established it, we also try to look uh, what are some activities that we can do with the students, not only within our chapter. So we try to apply for a scholarship where the student writes a long letter of activities he did, and one of our students actually got scholarship from the international organization. So among, I don't know, there is 2,200 students a year. Uh, 30 of them were selected and given some uh, award. So one of, them, one of them did, and this student also goes to uh, abroad to study at the US. Uh, we had interview, we had interview with some local news. We, we even got into the Czech TV, and there is a really funny video, but don't watch it. <coughs> and uh, when the reporter was asking students what this organization really gives you, well, it really doesn't give you necessarily that much. It gives you some confirmation that you are good. It gives you maybe the social networking with other students that is good. But, you know, if you go to work for some company, uh, you would get there anyways because you are the top student. So most likely you would come through the uh, process of interview, etc. So it doesn't necessarily make you a better person. It's really just a stamp. And uh, if you have this stamp, it makes your life easier regards, let's say, recruitment in the U.S., not necessarily here. We got, through this, some job offer for Amazon Web Services. Well, unfortunately, it's kind of far from us. It doesn't mean the Amazon that is being uh, built here in Brno and in Prague for the storage. It's the Amazon in Seattle that actually does some IT. 
<coughs> so we currently have there some other colleagues that work there who became member of members of UP at different university, and they said, well, we are interested in your top students, so if your students want to come to work to Seattle, just give us a call and we will try to uh, invite them here, do an interview, and most likely we will take them. So what are our plans for 2014? Well, we have a very nice sponsor. <clears throat> so we have a nice budget, and uh, we are sending some students abroad, and we want to support them, so currently we can afford it. When students come and they say, well, we need something to, that would really help us, let's say buy literature, buy something, uh, travel somewhere, we, we can get them funding. We, we are certainly don't have endless funds, but we can at least support them a little bit. We want to be active also in a programming competitions, and I think that also at this university you are active. So if you are students eligible to compete, uh, we have prepared a special scholarships for the best teams. So if you make a team at uh, Muni or at wherever else, uh, and you are first, second, or third, we will give you a nice scholarship. So that will be something new to motivate students to actually compete, and these competitions are interesting because you are really competing with others, others from Czechs and Slovak. Uh, so we have this uh, support for the students. Also, the registration to UP is not for free. Every student must invest a little bit in it, so they must decide if they want to go to register for UP or not. Uh, what do we do? Because certainly for us Czechs, it's kind of... Uh, not that cheap to register for the organization, so we partially cover it by the budget. But there is, let's say, uh, less than 50% that student must commit himself to pay the uh, dues uh, for the registration. It's a one-time registration. You register and you are registered for the whole life. You are in the social network. So the last slide, you are students. If you are interested by that, we will certainly be happy to help you with establishing beta version because we would like some, someone to compete with us at least with activities, etc. cetera. Uh, activities in 2014, well, maybe you would like to invite some students for internship. Maybe you would like to invite some of them for excursion. So we are certainly open to that. And I can guarantee you, if we do that, I'm sending you the best students from our university. So that's all, and I will be happy to answer any question if you have any. Go ahead. Uh, do you really think that students could That's certainly a great question. I agree with you, it's not. But when you will think about it, how can we evaluate it? So let's say we do this on the general pattern, but if we have, let's say, some teacher who says, this student wants some competition. We have a student that won Cisco uh, uh, Central Europe competition. We got him. He, did, he wouldn't qualify, but he proved himself that this is certainly something that is <laughs> extraordinary. Or we have student that is a bachelor and he published some papers at a scientific conference. He went through the review process. We certainly agree that this student should be there. We had some students nominated for the Czech little hat, which is like some scientific award. We got that student because this is uh, good enough for us to accept him. But unfortunately, this really needs cooperation with some of my uh, academical colleagues, and not all of them are interested in sending me the best students. So it is hard to define the best rules. So, so far, I can tell you, which is the most justifiable, that we pick the students based on the uh, best grades and few wild cards around four out of the 48 students. Well, uh, certainly when they saw that we made it to the Czech TV, they got attention. And you know how many advisors we got, how we should do that, how we should not do this. So then, then it got, uh, let's say, some motivation. And it's important that the teachers know. And then, then they suddenly work with someone who, let's say, is preparing diploma thesis. And you know he did something great. So you might send us a contact to the student and tell, tell us why you think the student should really go there. And you know, if you, if you don't have this chapter and you send us someone from local university, we can accept him as well, and we will be very happy to do that. Well, most likely, it will be the first student from other university, so even if he's not the best, he's going to make it there. So, but please make it uh, so that it's approved by some teacher, so that it is credible, because we really want to, we really want to keep the quality to have the good students there.
Thank you.